Hi friends, it's Auntie Cuckoo. I miss the Dollar Tree. So I think I'm just gonna hop in the car. We're gonna go into store. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm finding. And I'll see you back here for a haul. So first we're gonna head into the store. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm finding. These are tree toppers. So disclaimer, this is a Dollar Tree Plus, which is my Dollar Tree. So these are little tree toppers. They're only $3. They have an elf one, the gnome, and then the Santa one. Also for $3, they have these really cute gnomes. They're pretty good size and they come in all different versions. And for $5, they're putting out some Christmas trees. So it's a little four foot tree, pretty sparse. They had one set up in store. They also have these metal tree collars for the trees that are only $5 and some $5 countdowns in Santa and the snowman. They also have these light up LED spheres and joy and some tree toppers and really tall characters for $5. They have the elf, they have a snowman and another gnome. Might as well call it Mary Gnome Miss. They also have some tree toppers that do light up in the gold and silver. They are LED and more wreaths and ornaments. They also have some boxes that you can DIY and paint in a few different versions. I like this one in the snowflakes. Those are $5 and then these, I think these are, oh, they are $5. I thought these were three in store. So I think they're a bit odd. I will say I think the greenery is too big for the mailbox. Just a little metal mailbox, maybe a little centerpiece. And can you tell me what is wrong here? <laughs> That's the only one left. I'm sure that that is why. They also have a few signs, some snowman items and the sleds. They have sleds in all different versions, snowman and Santa really cute tag style sign in the camper. I do like that one. I'm actually pretty interested that they have this many signs left at this point in the season. Comment down below and let me know how is your Dollar Tree looking? Is stock getting in late? Do you guys have a fair amount or is it completely ransacked already? I also really like these in the white and gold. I love that they did the wood as the border. These are some new signs that I haven't seen. I love it when they do the red and white check. Of course, we've seen the joy tag style signs before, the tinsel snowmen and elves and trucks. And these are oldies but goodies on the red and white. They also have a few up here that I believe are new in Santa and the snowmen. This one is a good size sign, something definitely worth picking up for DIYs few more box signs we've seen in the last couple years. And then these that are new this year, they're also box signs. They do have different kind of plaids on the edges. They come in the four different colors in the red, purple, green, and white. I'm also finding some stocking holders and just a few ornaments left, but these are cute in the plaid. If you have a name with a Y or S, you are in luck. They also have these in the houses in the plaid that are super cute and these so these are just clear acrylic ornaments a dollar a piece they come in the gingerbread santa and the snowman and i love that they switched over their characters to plastic just because the ceramic ones weren't always painted the best they kind of would look creepy they also have the village houses and i love these in the plastic as well there's just so much more detail to them they come in the house a candy store a church and then a toy store these are just so cute. So this store is fully stocked. I'm a little surprised. I'm guessing they probably got their shipment a little bit later. I also want to show you guys they have tons of bottle brush trees. I remember when those were a hot commodity at the Dollar Tree. And I always love to look at their containers for gifting. So they have some boxed faux books. They have these acrylic containers. I really like the one in the gnome and gingerbread. And these that I am loving, they come in the truck, Santa, the gingerbread, and the gnomes. They are perfect for gifting baked goods. They also have these, which quite a bit larger, so you'd have to give a few more baked goods or just fill them with plenty of goodies and some tins that are really cute. So they did little cutout ones. I really like this. So this one is Santa. They have a few really pretty basic ones, some gingerbread and some gnomes. I am a big fan of whenever they do stripes. You could always switch up the top and a stripe could go any time of year. They are also putting out some dish towels for the kitchen for the holidays, lots of gnomes and red trucks. 
if anyone is surprised. And I do think this is a good little buy as well. These are the little wax melters. I think these are really cute in the red, white, and green with the snowflake. And I am in the market for some party goods. So I was checking out the prints that they have in store. And this, it's over in the party section and it looks like they're putting out some really cool cake decorating and baking goodies. These are really good deals for just a dollar. And now that I have a Cricut, I was interested to check out the crafting section. They do have lots of vinyl. I found some Rust-Oleum spray paint. Found that very interesting. And then some name brand products. Good job, Dollar Tree. So I don't know about you, but I'm already stocking up on all kinds of things that I can find for stockings. In the makeup section, they have more name brands. And this is a look at my cart. So. All right, so it's coffee o'clock. I don't know if you can tell, but I have been to the Dollar Tree. Um, I spent well over $100. It's been way too long and I missed it. So I'm gonna walk around and show you guys everything I picked up. So this is totally boring, but I did pick up multiples toothpaste and toothbrushes with cold and flu season. Pick up some extra toothbrushes, switch them out. Secret deodorant, I love it. I pick it up when I'm there. And did you know that A&D ointment at places like Walmart and Target, it's like $4 or you could just get it in the generic from the Dollar Tree. I also got one of the glossy gel eyeliners. Now this is by the brand Flower, which I remember seeing at Target, so I'm gonna give that a try. I bought way too many of these, I think seven bags or so. It's just enough crunch to add on your salad and there are more other places. Now my Dollar Tree has not gone up to $1.25 yet, so I'm enjoying it. I also picked these up. It looked like something my daughter would really enjoy and it's a Greek bowl. Um, I like to pick up things like this when I can. I love the bell peppers like this. They're banana peppers, I think. Um, in the Mississippi roast, I make it at Christmas. It's delicious. I like to have that on hand. And then this just sounded really good. I also needed some sliced pickles for, I like those for burgers. And then with being in a bigger house, I'm keeping cleaning supplies in the other side of the house. So I got these to keep over in our guest bathroom area. These are the best straws because I use really large tumblers to drink out of. And these are the only ones that are tall enough. So I try to pick those up when I can. And we have some projects coming up over Christmas break. We thought it was gonna be Thanksgiving, but you guys know we had our son here. So we enjoyed the visit instead. So lots of paint brushes. I picked up three packs of those. I picked up two of these that are just a little bit larger and a little bit nicer. And then one of these for doing trim and their painter's tape, just extra to have on hand. And then I did get three tarps. So video on that coming soon. This is something I always pick up. It is the totally awesome windshield wiper fluid in Texas. We have a lot of bugs, so I needed some more of that. And I was so happy. I finally found more of the shower spray. It's like a daily shower cleaner. I use this in our master shower and I picked up, ooh, let's say eight bottles. Didn't clear the shelf. There was a massive amount, but I should have. And then light bulbs. Finally getting around to putting lamps in places and needed some light bulbs. And then epoxy for a few different little things around the house um, and some super glue. Now this I'm gonna use because my husband made a special step for our little Yorkie and I need to adhere some carpet to it. And then this, our daughter has so much hair, so do I, and I lose it a lot with my autoimmune disease. So. Thinking these in our sinks is a good idea. If you've used them, let me know. Do they work? Should I buy more? And then I have been needing these little screw in rings. Sorry, camera went out of focus. So I was at Walmart. The only pack that had them was like $8. So to find it for a dollar, I was so happy. You guys will see that soon as well, why I needed those. And then we have a grill, a barbecue out on our back patio and it was dripping some grease. So now we're gonna fix that. I got this to scrape it up and then we got a nice um, covering for under the barbecue. We bring things in through the garage and I needed some door stoppers and I'm putting these on all of the furniture to just keep the floors from getting scratched. 
This is going to be in a video very soon. I use these all the time. I realized I never really showed this to you guys. So pick them up, have them on hand. And then I thought that this would make my car smell amazing during Christmas. Now they have these hanging on a area and they're in bags, but they're those really cute old school grocery sacks is what I think of them as. And so I thought that'd be cute for my daughter. This is a stocking stuffer, just enough butter cookies. And then I did get a few more stocking stuffers. They had the name brand. So I got them in a few colors and lots of tape preparing for Christmas, some shipping tape. And this is also a stocking stuffer, believe it or not. We always need tweezers in our house. Um, yeah, I also thought that this would be fun. My son loves things like this. So just got him one of these. And then I thought this would be nice to have on hand for some holiday baking. I was really excited about their baking section. I've always wanted one of these. Finally, it was just a dollar. And we've been using a lot of tongs lately. So I got a small pair. Now this is all stuff for holiday gifting and parties and stuff like that. So um, I am gonna be do, doing the rest of the decorating and do a home tour. I wanted to have some gumdrops and some peppermints for some decorating. I also wanted to have some shred on hand in case I needed it. And then I did get a couple of the tins. No real plan for those, except that my kids always need last minute gifts. So I got two of the camper and so you can tell they come in different sizes. I don't know if there's one smaller, but this is um, definitely smaller than that one. And the same is true of the gingerbread. So I got the large one and the small one. And I thought those were really, really cute. Um, kind of the same story with these. I just like to have them on hand in case we have a gift to put together. So they have them sometimes. So I grabbed two. This one is the gold round. And then this one is the rectangle. And then red gift bags, you never know. And then, and that's a two count, so it's pretty good. I think these are really cute. So I got those to have on hand for probably neighbor's gifts. I'm thinking some thumbprint cookies this year. And I've been making a lot of little loaves to give away. And so this is the cheapest way to do it. You get five mini loaf pans for a dollar. And I've checked the grocery store, it's a good deal. And then we do have some party stuff. We're gonna be doing a little gathering. So I got some plates and some napkins and some tablecloths and some little gifty bags. Might as well show you guys what I got from Five Below for the party as well. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up from Five Below just in case you're looking for a few gift items. I got the pooch, some new jammies for $5, so I just, Thought that was so cute and of course it's open for going potty and then they have these really cute um, coats pet jackets so i love this print and i love when they have the hole for the harness and then it's sherpa on the inside because it is cold here and then a few gift ideas so they had this they had a few different scents but this one it smells really really good it's just a coffee body scrub i think it was yeah it was four dollars so these were five dollars a piece four dollars and they had this for five which i think is a good deal it was needed anyways okay so we're doing a little party and they have these advent socks boxes you get 12 socks so shows you the prints <laughs> you find it right there let me turn it so you can see it so they had three different boxes one was like pinks and stuff i liked these i think they're just nice and someone would probably find one that they like so for five dollars you get 12 pairs of christmas socks and then this one which is just red prints right there and so we're going to do little gifts it's going to be like a make your own gift bag where you can pick a pair of socks so for ten dollars i got 24 pairs of socks and they can choose and then got some nail polish so each one has 12 i think yeah looks like it so they're different shades the one in the box had different shades than the one in 
this zip up pouch. So $5 a piece. So they're going to be able to pick out um, some nail polish and some socks and some other goodies that I'm going to put out. And yeah, I thought that'd be a fun little gift. That's what the gift bags are for. And then gifts, stocking stuffers really. So these are only $5. We use these all the time. Well, I do. Um, you just warm them up in the microwave and they smell wonderful and that's a great price. Um, and they come in different colors. So I got a gray and a purple. They smell like lavender. I also got this one because yeah, we use them. So my husband has shoulder issues and with MS I have all kinds of issues. So you just throw them in the fridge or the freezer. I always stick mine in a large Ziploc bag so they don't absorb any odors from the fridge because I did have one that ended up smelling like garlic bread and that was not fun. And this is great, especially if you have something like optic neuritis. Oh my goodness, it just helps because that is one of the most painful things in the world. So. This was $3. Now I know they have them at the Dollar Tree, but the ones at the Dollar Tree have holes where the eyes are that annoy me. So this will be fun for our little party. So I just wanted to pop on and say, I hope you guys all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. We had our son in town. It was a wonderful visit. It's always too short, but yeah, it was wonderful nonetheless. And I'm just taking my time decorating. I'm enjoying it. Not in any rush to get it done. I did share the entryway that I made my sign for that I love and the guest room that I decorated with you guys. And then I'm just working on areas as I get to them. And then I'll be sharing my home tour with you all. But yeah, I'm enjoying the season. So I hope you are as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you back very soon.